Hey guys, um, so with uh, Riot releasing their IP for their characters and allowing others to make uh, various games with their stuff, I decided to make the game that I'd want to see. Um, and I made a mobile augmented reality game um, that's kind of a puzzle dueling system with a, like a you against opponents um, using the League of Legends characters. I know it's a, it sounds quite complicated, but uh, let me just explain it. Um, so I feel like mobile has a lot of um, features that are kind of being ignored, you know. Uh, we release it, like Wild Rift is coming out, but Wild Rift is, it seems like it's, it's playing just like League, you know, um, on PC. And we've got uh, Legend of Runeterra, Runeterra, which is cool as a card game. Um, but um, as a card, card player myself, you know, there's always a physical interaction with another person, which, which adds to another like, dimension of, of the game, um, which I think is, is kind of being ignored. Um, so I said, okay, I'm going to make a game where uh, you battle an opponent, you each have 20 life, and in 30 second turns you will have a bunch of uh, puzzles. Um, you build the puzzle and you solve it, you scan it with your AR camera, which would be on your mobile device, so your iPad or your, or your or mobile phone, and the character will pop up and what that character does um, in terms of damage or healing is dependent on how hard the puzzle actually is. Um, let's see. Um, so we have the game scene, um, we have a, an open UI, we have a timer in the top corner, your 30 second timer, and a health bar uh, at the top, uh, which is interactive. Um, so the thing is now, um, there's no internet connection between you and a player, um, so you won't actually need internet or Wi-Fi to, to compete, well, to play against another opponent. Um, and yeah, you'll see, when you start, uh, you got the timer that goes down for 30 seconds, um, and at the end of it you hear, the end of your turn. Um, to restart again, basically just go click start turn. There you go. So, for example, if you have a two piece puzzle, you know, um, you just solve it, and up pops Ash, throws an arrow, does two damage, right? Um, and you just go to your cut there and touch, and you edit it accordingly, you know. Um, and uh, like I said, depending on how hard like a puzzle is, the more damage it will do. So, for example, like we'll have a, a six piece puzzle, you know, you solve it in 30 seconds. And you got gear in that just comes up and just like slashes for, for six damage, which I really thought was cool, you know. And um, you end of turn. Um, and then on the other side, you know, like I said, you just you would edit your life on the side. But on the other side, if you'd add life, you know, um, say you put together a four piece puzzle and you have Soraka come up and do a heal thing. The animations are currently on loop just because it looks more interesting, and I can show you like the whole variation while they're kind of. As long as the mark is on, sc on the screen, you know, it kind of picks it up right away, which is really, really cool. Um, and yeah, you know, I did it with a bunch of different characters, so you'll see on the other side, you can have Volbear just come up and slash for like a heinous amount of damage, um, and you just adjust it accordingly, you know. Um, so, and, and that's the gist of it, you know. I, I think it's, it's really cool that, you know, um, we've got all these characters and a lot of lore and a huge fan base, but I mean, we're not interacting with people um, and here you can go on a one-on-one -on -one basis and just go against your opponent you know um, and it's it's the things that we don't use as mobile right um, we're trying to make it like every other game you know you give your mobile phone a, a joystick and you give it buttons because that's what a controller has it's like but you know um, where is your AR controller on on a on an Xbox 360 or like um, like your controller isn't as what you have on your phone you know um, so I just really thought, you know, it would be cool, um, you know, you just solve the puzzle and you keep your wits about you, you know, and you know, if you can't solve the puzzle in the 30 seconds, well, it's your opponent's next turn and then they have a chance to catch up. Um, and that's the gist of it. Um, let me know what you guys think. Uh, I'm just going to show you like a couple slides with some more details on, on how to go forward with it. And um, look, if, if Riot are interested and people dig it, that's really, really cool. But at the end of the day, this is a game that I wanted to play. and. Um, that's what I made. This is the proposed logo I made. Um, pretty simple. Next is the actual app icon on the side, and then on the right are all the various puzzles that you could use. Um, something you might recognize if you're a fan. Here's an example of the puzzles. On the left, it would be a four piece puzzle, and on the right is a nine piece puzzle with damage and abilities scaled according to its difficulty, right? I toyed around with the idea of face cards, the idea that you're playing as that character 
and that character comes with five or six puzzles and that's all their various moves and along with playing as that character they have active or passive moves that you can play throughout the game so that's another thing I might implement if it works. Riot's games have always been digital so now the question is uh, how do we sell this thing? Uh, I'm a big fan of Magic the Gathering, um, so I just look to Richard Garfield and you can sell them in character packs, um, so much like this. So each character's move set and face card would be available um, per character pack. Or you could sell them in pairs. It makes for an interesting dynamic um, and further storytelling possibilities. So that's my pitch for League of Legends Augmented Rift. I made it in about three weeks. Uh, any feedback would be great and your support would be great. Um, Follow me on Instagram. I keep my process there where I update and and regularly go through the game building process. I really like the idea how um, it's combining the old and the new. My younger brother plays Pokemon Go, which is an augmented reality game, and my parents still build puzzles for fun. Um, League of Legends is a hard game just to dive right into as a new user, so I think this might bridge the gap and create a new audience.